just just a question if, if you're you know with this one you're uh, in america right now we got a lot of craziness going on here a lot of weird things going on there you know you see numbers from us we're not in russia we don't go to russia you see approval rating you know saying putin's approval rating is 80 plus percent why do you think people in russia love him so much what is it about him that people in russia love I know it's like in Russia, it's like if you have very small things, people happy. That is like people don't make like five, ten thousand a month. You know, it's like I talk about dollar, not rubles. And uh, it's like I don't know like where I'm from, like from Dagestan. I'm from Dagestan. We don't need too much. Like, like. Then I ask me, brother, why you never ask me how much I'm gonna pay you to come back? Say, brother, doesn't matter even if you give 100 million dollars, it doesn't matter for me. You know why? Because I'm from Dagestan and we have traditional and we have, uh, we have um, like, when we talk with our mothers, it's everything for us. This is everything. Like, I was talk with my mother, we make decision, we make the plan. It was. It's gonna be my last fight. Like finish. Like. Uh... Um. What I would say regarding this is number one. I don't think that Patrick Bet David was so happy because if you go around and you watch the full episode of the PBD podcast with um, Khabib, the UFC fighter. You know, when it got to this particular point, Khabib made a statement clear that he is not about the money. And when I was looking at the video, there was something I saw, and that probably might be my own perspective, and maybe other people did not see it, or probably Patrick Bet David himself might deny such thing. And maybe that's just my own viewpoint. But I saw that PBD was not happy with the answer that Khabib gave him regarding wealth, because First of all, before they got to this particular aspect, uh, Patrick Bet David tried to know if Khabib would, for any reason, come back to the UFC to fight. And Khabib made it clear that the only reason why he would be coming to UFC to fight is because of money. And in his culture and his tradition in Dagestan, Russia, they are not about money. And you see, this shows something about uh, Khabib that he made something clear and what he made clear was I can be the champion of the world I can be as great as I can be in the fighting game but it doesn't mean that I have to go after what every other person assumed to be greatness and you see Patrick Bet David is a guy who is all about um, you know he talks about money he talks about um, uh, what do they call it entrepreneurship and all of that so for Patrick Bet David, it's also not about the money, but Patrick Bet David believes that excellence has to show up in you continuing to do whatever you want to do and continue to grow. But in the aspect of um, Khabib, Khabib sees it as, I have gotten to a stage in life, I don't need to push further to achieve what people want me to do. I will never do anything based off society pressure or based off the money that is being given to me there is nothing that changed my mind i am a disciplined person and i keep to my principles and this is what differentiate me from other person and this is what i see that is very important that in today's world people like alex amozi people like grant cardone maybe i would include patrick bet david sometimes these people talk about excellence but when they talk about excellence they always believe that excellence means that you never stop working you never stop pushing hard but you have to get to a point where you know that you have your limit as a human being and when you get to that limit maybe you have a principle you have a discipline and you have a design or a dream for your life and you shouldn't change anything you probably might have be convinced about something and you might look into your your, your drawing board but you shouldn't change your dreams or what you aspire for to say, okay, if I have 10 houses, if I have 10 properties, if I have 10 investments, I am going to be okay with my life. 
And rather than giving back to the society, all you're thinking is, I need to expand. Capitalism is the whole thing about life. Khabib made it clear that I can be as great as I want to be in life. And I can say it is okay to this level of greatness. There are other things I can, I should pay attention to. And I think on that, this is what most youth should also pay attention to. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with capitalism. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with you expanding your wealth or for you to have a drive. But you are not a failure just because you are okay with the success you have made. As long as you are willing also to give back to the next generations that are coming, as long as you know what your priorities are, state your priorities and don't let the society push you into telling you that you have to make it the whole world you have to conquer the world and that is what makes you a conqueror this guy has conquered the ufc and he's still a warrior and try and go watch the pbd podcast let me make this clear make sure you go and watch pbd this full episode where Khabib, it wasn't really good in communication in communicating and sometimes when they ask him some questions he branched to something else but regardless he spoke about the principles that guide his life and i think that is one of the most important thing you can take away from this podcast adios see you in my next video amigos oh.